Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be doing a review on this product here. Let me see if I can get it. It's getting overexposed. But I will be putting a clip right in right now of this product. It's just, just for me. Natural hair nutrition, nourishing leaf and conditioner. It has coconut oil, shea butter, vitamin E, and sunflower oil. And it's sad to not have any formaldehyde, formaldehyde, DEA, petrolatum, and para parabens. So it's an all natural, I can say all natural um, hair product gets used it but I wanted to try it out for myself. I read the ingredients in the store and I was like I have to try this product. I'm usually not a really a product junkie but I decided to in 2018 to start experimenting more with products so yes I got this for about six dollars six euros so that will be about seven dollars maybe and I'm also going to give this product a fair chance so I'm going to seal with castor oil and with shea butter so let's get into the juicy stuff dry and crusty okay so now i'm going to take this product here it's my first time opening it and my first impression smelling it it has a sweet perfumey smell but I'm not really the one for perfume kind of smells. It really it gives me headaches. So I hope that the smell goes away. I have to take about this much here, not too much for this section. I will see how my hair reacts to it. I'm going to warm it up in between my hands. And when it's when it's warmed up in between your hands, it's very slippery very slippery it has a lot of slip let me show you guys how it's looking so this is what the product in I think I'll go in with a little bit more product now my thoughts about this product it does soften my hair up it definitely softens my hair up but for my 4c type my for my 4c hair really thick hair i think it's a bit light it's a bit of a light conditioner leave-in conditioner for my really tight 4c hair so maybe i should thicken it up i'm going to take my castor oil it's a sunny isle 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 or isle i'm going to take quite a bit about this much and I'm going to apply to this section for a bit more thickness and a bit more sealage so guys I've completed moisturizing my whole head and after I've moisturized my whole head I like to go in with some of the castor oil and take a tiny itchy bit not too much and then go over my hair again to seal everything in light nice okay guys so i'm done moisturizing my hair and i use the loo method which means liquid oil and then another oil on top or a butter like i've used so guys my final verdict on this conditioner leave-in conditioner here i will definitely say if you have a little bit of a thinner hair density thin to medium hair density this is a fairy good leave and moisturizer it's a big go-go but for thicker hair like mine i have very thick hair thick 4c hair i will maybe use this as an everyday moisturizer like um when i'm doing braids when i have my when i'm protective styling and i want to moisturize my hair lightly not a very um, extreme moisture treatment i wouldn't i will use another conditioner but for a light leave in light moisturizing i would go for this one because of because my hair is that thick it doesn't really um moisturize it to the core like i really like um, my conditioners to my leave-in conditioners to be i know some conditioners leave-in conditioners that when you apply them to your hair your hair 
really shrinks up that's how i know that the moisturizer is very good when my hair shrinks up and it's like this short that's when i know my hair is really 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 moisturized moisturized and it stays like that for about two weeks or so so yes this one i don't know i will be applying the um clip here of the of when i applied it as you can see it left my hair a little bit um stretch my hair was still stretched so it's, it isn't really a deep 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 condition um a deep 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 leave in treatment so i will use this as an everyday everyday moisturizer but if your hair is a bit thinner a little bit has a lesser density definitely go with this product and yes but it has awesome ingredients so that's a big plus up it doesn't have any parabens and a formal deal for formal aldehyde petrol at them so it's a very good product a very good everyday product so give it a go okay so yes thank you for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button down below if you're new and till the next time bye bye